I make my lunch. Uh, show you what I t eat. At the, the, what I uh, taking you through? No, no. So for today's episode, <laughs> yes. It's time to make lunch. <laughs> Good morning people, Dad's here again. Welcome back to my vlog, J Logs. And it's a crazy, cozy morning. The weather is amazing. It's winter, blah, 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 blah. So guys, today's episode is all about nom nom. Yes. Oh, so I'm going to be taking you through my entire day and to show you what I consume on a typical day. It's homemade. Everything is super, super simple. It's very, very, very healthy though because right now I'm a vegetarian. So all the non-vegetarians, I'm sorry. So while we're at it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, guys. First thing first, a lot of water guys, lot and lot and lot of water, empty stomach, so let's go. Okay guys, next up, time for my coffee. Coffee is life. Uh, but this is one thing I started doing, I do not directly consume coffee immediately after drinking water. I eat a fruit, a banana or an apple to keep me going for the workout. And if you haven't seen my episode yet on different kind of coffees I make, um, it's from vegan coffee to black coffee to French coffee to cappuccinos and everything is there. Please go and watch it right now. Yes, it's coffee time and I am having a simple black coffee. This baby is already hot, so let's go about it. Again, please watch my coffee vlog. So the workout is done, freshened up, and it's time for some amazing breakfast. Nasta Korengi. Nasta. Ah, kitchen. Uh, so guys, my typical breakfast is oats upma. Like I like some spicy breakfast. I'm not somebody who's made for a sweet breakfast like pancakes or you know, anything sweet is not my thing for morning. I need things a little spicy getting the spice of my life yeah and this is all that's gonna go into the upma that i'm gonna make i literally have this like five out of seven days frozen veggies sweet corn pudina broccoli capsicum all colors because i love adding colors to my breakfast tomato onion and green chili and obviously the oats let's go chop off all the vegetables capsicum broccoli Take oats in a bowl, add all the vegetables, sweet corn, frozen veggies, add some water and salt. Keep it in the oven and let it cook for about 5 minutes. While that's getting done, cut off onion, tomatoes, green chilies and the pudina. In a pan, drop everything, it's so simple, and cook it until the tomatoes are nicely done and soft. Once it's ready, drop in the cooked oats that you just had in the oven and mix it up really really well yummy add some water guys if you want now it's ready to be served to be had hot that's the oats of my guys just look how colorful it is 
that's the breakfast i'm talking about and don't forget i have it with coffee and with the view and it's gone like this yum yum okay bye okay guys i can't resist this <laughs> yay okay that was yum delicious breakfast right uh besides oat upma that you just saw we also have some poha other days there is same here we have sometimes i make dosas most of the time actually it's also dosas but not the rice dosas i like the atta dosa no the wheat ones and we make different chutneys and then we have it or sometimes we just let go of the breakfast and have some fruits and directly jump into a brunch so yeah so this is how our typical mornings are very simple like that and guilty 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 this is my third cup of coffee thanks to the weather i couldn't help it i'm so sorry and excuse me Mm-hmm. Ah, post breakfast I make sure to consume my uh multivitamins. Okay, the one I'm consuming is multivitamin with probiotics from women and then this is calcium citrate malat malate. This is a 1200 mg capsule. So yeah, I take this plus I also have my iron capsule that I have. You usually consume them after a meal. I like it after breakfast. If I miss it, I have it after lunch. So bless that. So yes, this is my typical morning. And now, once I'm done with breakfast and all of the blah, 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 this is the time I sit and like plan things for the rest of the day, the rest of the week that I want to do and everything. It's always a constant um, thought process that goes on and on and on and on. And then if I'm really off, I go and tend to dance. Like just start practicing something if I want to do something. Okay, that's about it. Um, then yes, let me go ahead. And then um, let's see what's happening for lunch. Take my baby. <laughs> thought process. Thought process. Yes. Hmm. Get out, guys. Get out. And we are back. So, um, guys, for lunch, I love a staple sambar rice, which I make. I really make some good, good sambar rice. And that's something that I can actually have again, like five times in a week or something. It's very very healthy, and I put a lot of veggies in there. It comes with a lot of veggies, so I try to consume protein through wholesome food, not from whey protein or something because I don't like them. I don't know why, but yeah, I don't like them. Yes, so today it's going to be the chana, and I'm going to make a basic curry out of it. But what curry I make, even if it has full vegetables, I still want a veggie by the side. I don't know why but I love vegetables so like uh and I'm going to make uh, the crust of beans they call it kotoranga in tamil so yeah I'm going to make that uh by the side dry this curry and rice coming up for lunch okay and the station is ready here I'll change the camera just for you guys I consume my daily greens during this time because while I cook I want to be like you know sipping on something constantly so the best thing is this is what I do take one glass and just drop it in so it'll take like a minute so now let's just pressure cook the beets or anything that you want to use with some salt and put it aside uh time for the base for the base all you need is some onions red tomatoes lot of them and some green chilies chop them so simple right let's go now heat the oil in the pan add bay leaves some cloves some star anise my favorite cumin seeds and some black pepper optional once that's done drop in the green chilies and the onions cook it cook it cook it cook it stir it okay i'm trying some closer look so you know what is happening but i'm very scared to take my camera close to the stove So if you can see onions are almost golden brown once we're done with that add the tomatoes There we go Tomatoes Yum So guys I put a lot of tomatoes for this because it's the curry So take note of that but if you're not fan of tomatoes just chill So oh, there you go, lot of tomatoes going in. Nom nom. 
and I'm going to just let this cook for a good three to four minutes. When the oil comes out, you know what I mean. Basically, when the whole tomatoes go nice and soft. Okay, so I'm just going to cover it and leave it for now. Let's go. Let's check on this. This is the time when it's like almost half done. I'm going to be adding some turmeric and ginger garlic paste. Squeeze in some. Nom nom. Mix it up. See? <laughs> yeah, it's like almost done. The oil is surfaced there. But I'm going to give this a little more time. Meanwhile, I'll add coriander powder. A little bit of garam masala. Yep, that's it. That's about it. That's it. It's my last thing. But I want to take you guys a closer look one more. Yummy! Yummy! So that's the base. Last one minute and... Let's quickly add up the chana. Let you guys boil. Guys, this is not... I don't know what is this way of cooking or what is it, but this is something... I like doing it and it's pretty tasty. So, yeah. I think we are almost done, but I'm going to simmer it and leave it for a good four to five minutes. It will slowly cook with the chana and get all the flavors ready. Mm, it's been lying around and it's ready. This is probably the super easiest recipe that I ever follow. Um, all you have to do is basically like chop them nice and long. Roughly about like this and we are ready to cook this. Some olive oil. The first thing that I put is some hing. Curry patta. Once the leaves are nicely fried, add the beans. That's it. This is all you need guys and all you have to do is toss them, toss them. Woo! And just leave it. So I like to cook these beans until the skin is really crispy. The skin is getting fried. So take a closer look. If you can see a closer look, this is what I'm talking about. This baby right here, here, here. So this gonna need that. I cannot have a dry veggie without this powder. So I love garlic and chili together. And the best thing is I do get this packet here at any of the grocery stores. So all I did was oil, curry patta, some hing, you put the beans and till you like it. Woo. See, it's gone nice and crispy and just add a little dash of this. That's it. And we are ready to roll. And my fried beans are ready. Yum, yum, yum. Now let's eat. Okay, I have equal portion of rice, the protein, any beans that you cook, and the veggies. And I'm ready to go. Yummy! Try it out, guys. Try it out. Fun fact, guys. Post-lunch is my most non-productive time, and I tend to sleep immediately after lunch. So to avoid all that, I started practicing my new obsession, the skating. And trust me guys, it's so much fun. Once you're into it, you don't want to go back to sleep. It's really, really, really amazing. Yay! Bye! 
So finally, it's supper time. If you're wondering why Jack's voice has changed to this, ha, huh, it's me. I generally drop by in the evening, and she feeds me all the leftovers. Is it true? I don't. I give you coffee. Yes, both of us are coffee lovers. So Jay is a beautiful, wonderful chef. She keeps feeding me, but I love coffee. So this is a coffee time. Yeah, and it's also jam time. Jam time, yeah, lots of reels. Pam 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 para, pam 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 para, pam 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 para, pam 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 pam. So so yeah. So guys, that's almost the end of the day, and this is what I usually eat in a day. And I have my coffee, I have my breakfast on time, I have my lunch on time, hopefully. But I have my uh, dinner a little early, like around 8 p.m. And no fancy stuff. I'm not going to be filming anything separate for dinner because we just have the leftover food from lunch. This is normal, okay? This is what happens. Okay, so that's about it. If you guys have any queries, if you like something, try it out. Let me know. Drop in the comment, and you know what to do after this. 